final tool we're going to deal with in this series is uh, the mudga, sometimes called a mudga, uh, which is a big wooden club. Um, these are used either as single clubs, which is the majority of India, you'll find them as single clubs, um, especially in wrestling akaras, they tend to use a single one. This one actually here is a uh, Kala Katai club, it's made by Body Mind Fit in the UK and it's called a Kushti club, but it's similar dimensions to most of the kind of mudgas you'll find in India. These here are jorries, uh, jori means pair and in uh, Varanasi these are used as a competitive uh, tool to swing and they're always done in pairs rather than as single clubs. So this club here is used really to kind of strengthen the shoulders, open up the shoulders and um, give you good grip strength and so on, things which are excellent for grappling. The first thing is the launch. It's very simple. Um, maybe I'll stagger my feet or I can keep them square. I prefer a staggered stance and I'm just going to swing it back and up like that. And now I'll hold this position here. Um, I don't want to have my hand too high up and my elbow at too much of an angle because it puts a lot of strain on my elbow joint. I let the club sit down. I even lean it on my shoulder if I need to and I keep my hand, my fingers nice and relaxed, they aren't always in a kind of hammer death grip. Um, otherwise you end up straining your elbow and your wrist and potentially your shoulder, mostly in the elbow and wrist. So once we swing it up, we've got two ways of swinging it. In some places you'll notice an over the head swing where the forearm crosses over the back of the head, like this. So that's one way of swinging it. Another way is the over the shoulder swing, which is how the Joria always swung in Varanasi. Um, but the over the shoulder swing, it's a similar motion, except instead of going over my head like this, my forearm, the back of its, the back of the, the sort of head of the club is going to pass behind my head and over my shoulder. So this, you'll feel when you use it, this slightly different muscle activation, but both are excellent swings and both are very useful. Um, I personally like an over the shoulder swing, but that's also because I like to swing uh, Iranian meal and they are also a pair of clubs and I like to swing those, they're swung over the shoulder rather than over the head. And so I've become accustomed to that motion. I like that motion personally, it's my preference. But you'll see in India, uh, people swing the Magda both over the head and over the shoulder. Neither is right or wrong. So the jorries are much bigger and heavier and these can get up to enormous weights in India in Varanasi and they are special akaras with very hard uh, earth uh, which are used for swinging the jory. So there's two ways of picking up the jory. Um, the first one is they have like an elevated platform. It's normally made of stone and they'll get up onto the top of it and swing up and catch the jory here because I can't swing these from the ground. They're just too long. I can't get enough momentum from a standing position to swing them up onto my shoulders. So in competitions, you'll see them get up on the platform, swing the, swing the jorries up to their shoulders and then they'll usually put them down and then prepare for their swings because they have to just demonstrate they can swing them up to their shoulders on their own. And normally someone will then assist them in putting them back on their shoulders for their swings. So I've substituted a stone platform with this plastic footstool essentially. And you can either have left foot forward or right foot forward. It's uh, up to you, it's your preference. And you usually get several attempts to do this because it doesn't always work on the first attempt. Like so. So from here, when they've got them, what they'll normally do in a competition is just put them down. And if I want to put them down, I can't just crash them to the floor. I'm gonna turn it so the, the base goes to the floor first. 
and that's the correct dismount for the jory one and then two so that's the way to pick up the jory in a competition I'm just going to move this out of the way but the um, simplest way to pick up the jory is by just picking up one and then catching the other one here squatting down bending over and lifting it here and now I've successfully got the jory in a good position to swing so from here I'm going to swing them they're going to stay in contact with my shoulders and I'm going to turn my body as I swing and allow the jerry to turn a full rotation over my shoulder and I'll pull it back down and look at my fingers as I'm pulling it down so I can keep the jury in place. It's pretty hard. Um, but you can see there how I rotate my body before I drop and then as I come the other way the jury comes back down and I'll pull this hand down and keep my hand my eyes on my fingers as I pull it down so in India that is a competitive swing in Varanasi and these juries here aren't super heavy each one's about 35 pounds um, but they can get up to monstrous weights and have iron or steel shoes on the end of them. This one here actually has a groove cut into it ready for chains to be added, which is something I can do to make them heavier in the future and put the weight bias further towards the end. Um, so there you have it. The jorries and the mudga. Um, both with their own distinct sort of feel and style. Jorries are regional, uh, mostly in Varanasi, uh, the Gangetic floodplain area, essentially. And uh, uh, Mugda is much more pan-Indian. Um, you'll find this in the south, in the north equally. Um, it's originally based on a, a warhammer called a, a Mudga uh, instead of a Mugda. Um, but these terms are very interchangeable, so sometimes you'll see it. Mudga, Mugda or Mugdal. So pick your poison. There you have it. If you like uh, these war yoga videos, uh, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. I also have a bunch of links in the uh, section below description where it uh, can direct you to the war yoga website, uh, to the war yoga book, which is available on Amazon, in Amazon uh, across the world. Um, also, it will direct you to the war yoga Instagram which uh, has a lot of content I post on there a few times a week with different things. Uh, and also you can sign up to uh, join the War Yoga Akara, which is the newsletter. But in doing so, you will get a free ebook, uh, access to the free ebook where you can just download it and it will tell you all the ways of making the Gada, the Nal and the Garnal, which are tools that we've already described here. And there are videos how to make them, but the ebook will give you really precise details and measurements. So, uh, Thank you for your support. Keep watching.